number 10. We have some things to add here. We're going to have to simplify them, but two of these are fourth roots and the other is a cube root. Only the fourth roots, those with an index of four, can go together. So I know this middle piece, he's going to be left by himself. I do know that if I do 16, I should, four and four, I should be able to see it. Why did I circle them? I have no idea. They break down to a two and a two. Now I circle them. Two and a two, circle them. You can see it's going to take three to come out. So you should be able to see this is sort of a two cube root with a two left inside. These other fourth roots we're going to have to look at. So 80. Wow. Let's see. Does it have four together? I'm going to bet it does. Eight and ten. I can see it now. Four and a two. Two can't go any further. Two and a two. And 10 is a two and a five. Now the marker is not doing great on this board, but you should see that you have four twos right here. That's what's gonna come out in front of the five. So we'll have five times a two comes out. What was left behind? Just this five right here. Okay, so if we simplify that, we should have five times two, fourth root of five, which is 10, fourth root of five plus two, cube root the two again markers being difficult 32 if i break 32 that's just a bunch of twos that's all it is two and 16 two and eight two and four two and two told you it's just two to the fifth so four of them will come out one will be left behind so i'm gonna have a three out here one of the twos comes out comes out as a single unit, and you have a single two left behind. So this is plus six, fourth root of two. Now, I can put together things if they're exactly the same. Now, are they? This is a fourth root of Mr. Five. This is a fourth root of a two. I can't put those together. This is as far as it goes. It doesn't go any further. You can't put things together. The indexes have to be the same, and on the inside, they have to be the same. So number 10, this is as far as she goes. She simplifies to this, but nobody was able to be put together. Let's look at this guy. <clears throat> Who comes out? Now it's just a square root, so that might make life a little easier. For 18, we can see 3 and 6, 2 and 3. And let's just go ahead and do these a little bit longer. So I have a 2 times 3 times 3 times B, B, B. Plus, what do we have over here? Well, let's see. Eight, at this point, we should be getting decent with these. Eight is going to be a four and a two, and then a two and a two. We should sort of see that at this point. So we have a B out front, then I have a two, 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 A, 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 and a B. Okay, let's see who comes out. Let's turn to red if we can. And it doesn't want to. Okay, fine. It did. Three comes out. B comes out. And that's all. Now I'm going to clean that up as three. A squared B. It changes back color. You got to love it. What's left inside here? A 2B. Now, what happens here? A 2 comes out. An A comes out. And another A comes out. So that's going to be 2AA, which is 2A squared B root. What is here? 2B. <gasps> hey, we're counting by root B, so we can put these things together. And it's 3A squared Bs plus 2A squared Bs. So that's 5A squared Bs. Color change, not me. And then inside here, 2B, okay, because we can add them because they're the same. This is a 3A squared B plus a 5a squared b. I'm counting by the same thing, 5a squared b's root 2b.